everyone, I'm Chantel. Welcome back to Animals, Feathers, Furs, and Scales, Part 3. Tonight, we are going to focus on reptiles and fish. Name some other types of coverings that different animals can have. What is a scale? Fish and reptiles both have structures called scales. They are quite different. Who thinks they know how they are different? Snake scales are embedded in skin, all attached together. Fish scales are separate. They attach to the skin individually. Depending on which fish scale you examine, the snake scales will generally be smaller. Some fish scales have rings. These are growth rings similar to those of a tree. As a fish grows, their scales grow larger. Snakes, however, shed their scales every few months. So they do not develop growth rings. Fish scales are thicker and bonier than snake scales. Fish scales are somewhat round, while snake scales are more diamond shaped. sheet of paper. You're ready for your final question for the front page number six. Name three differences you learned between snake scales and fish scales. Reptiles have a tough, dry, scaly skin that protects them from predators and allows them to live in dry places because they reduce water loss. Reptilian scales are made of keratin, like hair and nails, and are in overlapping arrangement. This creates a sort of environment shield for the animal. Instead of a bone, the skeletons of some fish are composed of a tough, smooth tissue called cartilage. Found in humans covering the ends of bones in the outer ear and in other areas. These cartilaginous fish, like sharks and rays, have a different type of outer covering than bony fish. Their tough skin is covered with placoid scales, small, spiny, irregular shaped scales called dermal denticles, skin teeth. This gives them a sandpaper-like feel. The shape of these denticles is also an indication of the shark's behavior. The more aggressive the shark, the longer and more pointed their scales. tuning in to animals, feathers, furs, and scales. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.